So on the 1st of April at St Charles Cripplegate, Lloyd's Choir will be doing their annual spring concert. And the main work this, this year is a very unusual commission in memory of Christine Didelow, who sang in our alto section for a number of years. And uh, she was an exceptional, extraordinary person because um, she was a businesswoman, but she sang in lots of different choirs and she was um, hugely enthusiastic about choral singing. She suddenly discovered that she was terminally ill and she was only 49 and with a very aggressive cancer. And on realising this, she decided that she wanted to commission a piece from me. We had a very intense conversation about the kind of piece she wanted and um, I said to her, well, actually, I don't have any ideas for a piece. I said, have you any idea what you want? She said, no, you'll just find the right subject. Ian Brendel, Ian Brendel, who is um, a wonderful member of this choir and a fantastic composer himself, he said to me after that, he said, why don't you do creation? And I thought at the time, why would I do creation? For all kinds of reasons. I mean, why would a 21st century composer do this, this biblical myth? So the, and I got very interested in binary storytelling. So I thought, what would I do if I was doing creation? And it, it became immediately obvious that the text, the biblical text about how God created the earth in six days needed to be interspersed with text by 20th, 21st century composers about how we, Man, people, humanity is destroying the planet. And the alto um, sings poems by um, a poet called Frank Abbas, who was, um, uh, I think he was Czech, and he died in Terezin when he was 14. Um, so he was like Anne Frank, murdered by the Nazis. And he died in 1944, and he left behind just a very small number of very simple poems. So those poems are interspersed with the biblical text. The title is misleading. It's not so much about the creation, it's about our destruction or potential destruction. So I thought, I have a children's choir, and after each day the children's choir sings an adaptation of words from Louis MacNeese's poem, Prayer Before Birth. And then we jump to immediately to the, from the first book of the Bible, Genesis, all the description of the creation, to um, John's vision of some kind of apocalypse and then there follows some texts by Jeremiah and Isaiah which show what couldn't happen. The alto has the last word for Christine and I think, I hope, that will have an extra point it just being one solo alto and then she sings for we are the gardens of this world and we must see that it is good. Um, all the details are on the Lloyd's Choir website and we're also doing, um, the other works in the programme are Serenade to Music by Vaughan Williams, Elgar Give Unto the Lord, and um, the Wasps Overture with the orchestra. So very exciting programme, and very much hoping you'll be able to join us.